Go currently owns 100 Pokemon. That's more than any other trainer we've ever seen in the history of the series. So it's natural to discuss the Pokemon that Go will or should catch next, but what about the Pokemon that we think Go shouldn't ever catch? So, in this video, we'll be counting down another 5 Pokemon that Go should never catch in Pokemon Journeys. And if you feel like we've discussed this before, well, you're right, we have. Half a year ago, a video that I created, the top 5 Pokemon that Go should never catch, skyrocketed upwards far beyond any height I could have ever expected. And that was the video that really kickstarted my channel's growth. I even created a sequel to it, 5 more Pokemon that Go should never catch. So be sure to watch both of those videos before or after this one, the links to which can be found in the video description. Those videos genuinely changed the course of my channel, and truthfully right now, the course of my life too. And I am so endlessly grateful for that. So today, let's continue the series. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, it really really does help me out. And to put it into context, when I uploaded the first video about Pokemon Go Should Never Catch, we had 6,000 subscribers. And now, we have almost 50,000. Talk about mind-blowing, right? Finally, be sure to comment below the Pokemon that you think Go Should Never Catch. And without further ado, let's hop straight into the top 5. Number 5. Ambipom. One of the most criticised elements of the Diamond and Pearl series is the treatment of Dawn's Ambipom. Ash traded Ambipom to Dawn back when she was an Apom because she was interested in Pokemon contests. Ambipom was a fan favourite, but then the writers randomly decided to make Dawn give Ambipom away to some random dude so she could go and do ping pong at some training centre in Vermilion City, Kanto. As in Vermilion City, the exact same city that Ash and Go currently live in. The idea of Go catching a random Ambipom and giving the spotlight to this random Ambipom would be so disappointing to me. I mean Ash, Go, you literally live in the same city as Dawn's Ambipom. Your old Pokemon Ash, go and visit her. We can give the Ambipom species the spotlight and give Dawn Zambipom the redemption she deserves after she was done so dirty in Diamond and Pearl. I personally just don't want to see Go catching a random Ambipom until the treatment of Dawn Zambipom is fixed. Ambipom as number 5 is totally biased because I absolutely adored Dawn Zambipom, so I don't really expect all of you to agree with me on this one. But personally, I just want Dawn's Ambipom to have the spotlight, not some random new Ambipom. Number 4. Solgaleo. Ash found a newborn Cosmog, Nebi, in Alola, and he raised it all the way up into a massive, powerful Solgaleo. They had a fantastic bond, and Solgaleo returned many times in the series to greet Ash or help Ash out. A lot of fans were really disappointed that Ash never caught Solgaleo, because let's be honest, he really did deserve to. As I'm sure you know, Go's goal is to catch every single Pokemon, so that obviously includes Legendary Pokemon too. I don't know about you guys, but the idea of Go catching a Solgaleo when Ash never got the opportunity to catch the Solgaleo that he bonded with throughout the entire Sun and Moon series... That would just be incredibly annoying to me. There's so many legendary Pokemon, mythical Pokemon, and Ultra Beasts out there for Go to catch. Just give him a different one. Even if they want to give him Lunala so it contrasts with Ash. Just please do not give him the Pokemon that so many of us wanted Ash to catch so badly. That would be a massive kick in the teeth. Number 3. Minior. Minior fall down from space, but when they land on the Earth, their shells break apart and leave their core exposed. And sadly, with their cores exposed, Minior die incredibly quickly, because they can't survive without their shell. The only known way to save a Minior is to catch it in a Pokeball before it dies and keep it in there permanently, because as soon as it's let out of its Pokeball, it will begin dying again. 
That means if Go catches a Minior, it would have to be kept in its Pokeball 24-7 for the rest of time. And that is absolutely not what Go is about. Go catches Pokemon so he can keep them at Cerise's lab and so he can bond with them and understand them, in his words. The idea of Go catching a Pokemon and just keeping it in a Pokeball for the rest of time doesn't really fit in with the way that Go cares for his Pokemon. So it just makes more sense for Go to never catch a Minior. Number 2. Jirachi. There's two reasons why I never want Go to catch a Jirachi. Reason one is that I don't think Go is experienced or emotionally mature enough just yet to have the power of a Jirachi on his side. I mean, we don't want Go wishing on Jirachi to catch every Pokemon ever or to catch Mew or anything like that. That would be a terrible way for him to achieve all of his goals. And my second reason that I don't want Go to catch a Jirachi is all because of Max. In the sixth movie, Max formed the most precious, wholesome bond ever with a Jirachi before Jirachi went back to sleep for the next 1000 years. If anyone is to catch a Jirachi, I personally won't be happy unless it's Max. I want that Jirachi to somehow wake up before 1000 years passes so that Max can catch him. Jirachi is such a rare, unique, and special Pokemon that it would be a huge deal for anyone to catch it. And I don't want Go to steal the spotlight that Max deserves through catching Jirachi. Number 1. Melmetal. Right, let me explain this, so bear with me. Melmetal used to be members of ancient civilizations, but over time they were completely lost to history. Not a single Meltan or Melmetal has been known to be discovered for tens of thousands of years. That was until Ash found a group of Meltan in Alola, being the first known person to do this in, like I said, thousands of years. Meltan canonically live and travel in huge groups, so the fact that no other person has found a Meltan when they live in such massive groups shows that there's clearly such a minuscule amount of Meltan left in the entire world. And to make matters even more crazy, the Meltan that Ash caught later combined with every other known Meltan in existence to become Melmetal. It has taken this long for anyone to find a single Meltan. And now every single known Meltan ever is combined into Ash's Melmetal. I'm just gonna say it flat out. If Go somehow miraculously finds and catches a Melmetal, then that would be the stupidest thing ever. It would be ridiculous enough for him to even find a single Meltan, since all the known Meltan in existence are combined into Ash's Melmetal. But for Go to somehow be able to find enough Meltan to make a Melmetal, that would be the dumbest thing in the Pokemon anime's whole history. Go should never catch a Melmetal, and I will never, ever, ever change my mind on that. So there we have it. Those were another five Pokemon that I personally think Go should never catch. Remember, these were just my opinions, but I want to hear your opinions in the comments below. Be sure to watch the other two videos about Pokemon Go should never catch using the links in the video description too. I'd also really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and help us get closer to 50,000 subscribers. It was an absolute blast making this video, since the first one really changed my entire channel. So, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.